Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade Star, and this is How to App on iOS. And it's hot. And so is this app today. So, yeah, let's have a look at what's going on. Hey, if you're watching the show over there on Facebook, I really don't know because lately, uh, Restream has been maybe stream who knows stream have a guest stream <clears throat> you never know if you never told so i don't really know because um there's it, there's been a, a consistent thing going on with restream that uh, just doesn't tell me what's happening and then an hour later i'll get a message saying sorry our servers have, were down everything was working normal we just yeah so yeah if you're over there on facebook i I have no idea. So you can always join us here over here at YouTube at the youtube.com slash Jade Star. I had to go and check on the YouTube app to see if I was live. So on your restream. And or you can also check us out at the website at how to app on iOS.com. Uh, which leads me over to glance a little quite a lot over at the chat and there's a lot of you here i can see so firstly thank you all for being here it is monday morning here in australia and um it's hot it's hot um hey siri no not the one on my ipad pro what's the weather right now oh she disappeared now hey siri Oh man, when you want her to work, she just won't work. What's the weather right now, honey? Okay, so it's 29 degrees in um, Melbourne and it's 7 a.m. 29 degrees Celsius. And in my room, it's 33 degrees Celsius. <laughs> 33. So good morning, Scott, who has a mod now. Uh, so welcome to the mod team scott i thought i'd already done it unbelievable um yeah so welcome aboard joey helpish uh, hello buddy uh tom rochelle good day desolate morning Greetings. uh nina hello good to see you deep gravity hi cam gary hubs is here also alex backus long time no see indeed love you long time all right, let me get my groove on now. Finally, Brad Example is here. Says, hello, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. Some days are better than others, and I hope today is one of those days that's better than others. Yeah, man. I hope the same for you. I hope you are doing well today. Um, we'll get into how my day's already been going. Very briefly. Danny Broderick is here. Who else is us scrolled down? It's a full house. Jeez. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Rob B. Da did I say Danny Broderick? I did. SM Borthwick is here. Who's pointed out it's a full house as well. Is here as well. And uh, I keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Cold Acres here and he's rolling with babes. All right, so I got Cold Acre in trouble yesterday <laughs> with his new video. If you haven't seen Cold Acre's channel, heavenly, heavenly, heavily baked. Head over and have a look at it. Oh man, and um, yeah, Andy Goldsby, hello. Oh, I'm rambling today. Uh, CDS, hello, Russ, hello. How do you do? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Pete Johns is here. Hello, Pete Johns. I caught about 40 minutes of the show and only started chatting um, towards the end, Pete, because my phone was covered in blood. Yeah. But that's another story. So, here we are today. Um, I've got so Let's go through some news. So, uh, yeah, I woke up uh, today in the heat and um, I've had a blood nose now for about 30 minutes. It wouldn't go away. We finally got rid of it. So that's good. That's a good thing. I'm feeling good. I've got my water next to me. We're all pumped up. These things happen. It's the heat. It's crazy heat. 
I, I think I could fill my room with a hundred fans and air conditioners and it just wouldn't help. It just is what it is. And you just deal with it. Other news I can go into, I'd like to go into anyway. Yesterday, um, and well, over the last few days, I've been playing some music by a friend of mine on the show named Kev Hart. And while I'm, while I'm thinking of it, I shall bring it up here on the screen again because you're going to have to get used to it a fair bit. Hello, Rick Lisk as well, who's uh, popped in. Maury P as well. Hello to you. I'll try and catch up with everybody who's in here. But, um, oh, that's a good idea. We should put my glasses on. Yeah. Glasses, yeah. All right. So my friend Kev Hart. Kev Hart makes amazing metal music. He's got a band called uh, Metal Shed. Let's have a look and show you uh, that. I'm going to try and multitask here. Um, look at all these artists who have recently added to my list. Look at my my music list, folks. Um, Tomahawk, Thomas Christ, RTG, uh, Rick, Rick Lisk. These are all recently added tracks to my um, to my uh, Apple Music. Brown and Garrett, Brown and Garrett, two albums there. Joey Helpish, um, Thomas Galane, Dean Thomas. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people from this show hanging out here. Oh, what was I doing? My music is mostly made up of you people, so thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Um, but I'm just going to have a look for Metal Shack. Metal Shack, Metal Shack. So, this artist, and why am I showing you this? So, this is... Uh, oh, thank you very much, Maury P. I just saw that come through on my PayPal. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much. Um, if anyone else, you, know, you can always send a super chat. Are they working? They might not be working. No, you can always support the show. Thank you very much. That's so kind, Maury. Um, it all goes to buying fans, it seems, in my room. <laughs> I just keep buying more fans. Um, so, this Metal Shack. This is Kev Hart's music here. Um, this was, uh, I think this was his last album. So, Kev makes some pretty damn cool music. Yeah. Yeah. And um, over these last few days, I have been working on a track with Kev called Spineless, which I only played just the start of because I'm still excited about it. We've been chatting through the... Yeah. Okay, so why am I playing this stuff? Um, what And what's really cool about this is, um, I reached out to Kev, I've been listening to his music, I thought, you know what, I'm looking for something to do, a little small project, um, I might just add my vocals to some of, his, some of his music if he's into it. So last night, things are kind of going so well with this song, we decided we're going to do an EP, so I'm going to be the vocalist on another possibly three or four tracks. So we're doing a full EP with me on vocals. Um, and uh, he's currently got the second song um, almost finished that he's working on. And over the next few weeks, we're going to put this together. So you're going to see a, a bit of how all this is all put together um, during the shows. And um, we're going to smash this out. And not all the vocals are going to be screamy, screamy like that. Because uh, the new ones kind of got this more slower, groovier riff. And yeah, I'm really excited. Something new on the release horizon. Um, yeah, so I thought I would share that with you. Uh, I, can, I guess I can say for this album, we are called Metal Shack. <laughs> it's me and Kev Hart at this moment. And um, he writes all his music in a shack. And I wrote all my music in a tinderbox. So it kind of works out. Alrighty, that's out the way. So that announcement is done. <clears throat> Let me grab some water because, oh my God, it's in here. I've hardly done any talking and my throat is so smashed. So today I will not be recording any vocals because it's so hot in here. Mm. 
hell. Look, Pete, thank you for the super chat. It seems me and Pete, <laughs> if you're keeping score, <laughs> Pete sends me a super chat for two ninety nine. I send him back a super chat for two ninety nine. <laughs> then he sends me. I think he's ahead by two. Then I send back a super chat for two ninety nine. We're playing tennis with the super chats. <laughs> I'm sure you're ahead though, so I got to pick up my game. Uh, good times, man. I love you guys. I love this community. So, all right, let's see what else do I have to tell you. So, I want to go on a mini rant just before we get into this because there's no real uh, new apps or anything. So, Pete was talking about the whole free apps and stuff um, and things being free, and I just wanted to touch on it too. Because it affects this show quite heavily. Um, and there's a lot of apps that I show uh, on this show that are not free. And <clears throat> there's a lot of apps on this show that I've, I've talked up heaps and uh, come at a cost. And I haven't f fully used yet. And there's a lot of apps uh, on my iPad sitting here right now that I still am waiting to do a show on. And I'm still trying to get through looking at them all so the reason i do this show is not because i know um i cover a smaller percentage of free apps it's only because i try and cover the apps that i think are across a broad spectrum of musical apps so across you know synthesizers guitar bass recording apps or across everything even like yesterday i looked at photo apps things from uh, adding video to music, like making videos, uh, making your promotional material, with photo apps, all this kind of stuff. I try and make it as broad as possible and try and cover uh, things like, you know, mental health in some episodes. Ultimate, ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm trying to cover apps that I think can benefit you towards what you are making so that's the priority. You've got to be making something first to actually want or need these apps. And, you know, a lot of the time you don't even really need these apps. You can want them. But as long as uh, I just want with this show, I try to give you a look at how something works as not fully in depth, like a, an absolute, you know, total breakdown of a tutorial, because part of the excitement of getting a new app or new gear is the excitement of learning how to use it yourself and finding those secret little things that work for you. So that's why I never do like fully in depth tutorials. Hello, Lady Rodeline Strait. Um, and uh, Thomas Galane, I think I missed you possibly early. Ed Zielinski, hello. So I'm definitely not telling you to go out and buy everything, but if you are considering buying a, a bunch of apps or anything that I show on this show, please do what I do and as I say, and as I do, and as I say, and as I do. Like with everything I buy in my studio, check it out somewhere else. Go go and get a second opinion, all right? Like, like your health. Go and get a second opinion. Go and watch another video on it. Go and read a little bit more about it. Make sure that it is, even if it's only worth $2 or $3, because it is your hard-earned cash. And uh, you want to know that you're getting something really good. You know, um, it's, a, it's a shame um, there are still, and I'm going to go out and say it, because I think a lot of my audience is <laughs> um, not so young. That came out wrong. Uh, when I look at my statistics, I don't have many teenagers following the show. Um, and I do see a lot of uh, teenagers who... Uh, it, it, let, let's, let's just cut through the shit. I don't like talking shit. Even when Pete does his uh, YML show, a lot of youngsters pop on the show and they're like, play my song, 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 play my song. I want it now, I want it now, I want it now, I want it now, I want it, what? I want it now. I'm calling you mature, Rick. <laughs> That's what I'm calling you. And I'm now I'm talking about immaturity. Because we live in a world where everybody gets everything now. Right? There's a lot of us. And, you know, I look, I look at things like Netflix and stuff and still am bedazzled. Honestly. I look at it and go, holy shit, I can just get that. <laughs> and I'm still amazed that I still can just get that now. You know? I think if you've come from a... a, a a period in time 
where it's like, oh, oh well, I can't get that right now. <laughs> what do I have to wait for that? It's, um, yeah, these young whippersnappers. <laughs> exactly, Ed. I'm not trying to go down that path, but hello, Benedict Stewart. But no, I think it's more, uh, it's not even generational. Like it, it affects older people as well. It's the, yes, there it is. Stuart Rosa said, instant gratification syndrome. Um, yeah, man, you can, you can get it from anywhere, you know. Like on the weekend, there was a film I wanted to watch that isn't out yet. Not for me. I'm naughty, naughty. But, you know, you, you can get these things on tap. So I think we tend to fall... Where I'm heading is we tend to fall into the trap of, well, oh, I can just get it now. Oh, but it costs. Oh, shit. I have to pay for it. <laughs> and look, the, the developers who support my show are just as important as you guys. Like, with, without them, I wouldn't be able to afford a lot of the apps to look at. You know? Um, especially things like, you know, look at Lurson's. That as a mastering app, that thing's like hundreds of dollars. There's been hundreds of dollars worth of apps that developers have given me to give away to you as well. So without them, firstly, we wouldn't have the apps. Secondly, I wouldn't be able to have a show like this to show you the apps. Third, I wouldn't be able to give you a whole bunch of apps. So, you know, and exactly what Pete said there, patience versus lack of patience. I want a dopamine hit, I want it now. Yeah, and... um Facebook has a lot to answer to, you know, it's a, it's the modern day poker machine. It's uh, that uh, post and wait for a response, post and wait for a response. Me, I post and close the app and go do something else. <laughs> you can't be looking at Facebook. I used to look at Facebook way too much, but I, I tell you what, I, I never was addicted to likes or, or comments or things like that. In fact, I'm absolutely shit at those things. But I do pay attention to my friends. Um, I'll tell you what, you, uh, lastly, I'll finish off here. So this is totally off topic. But do you want to know how to make your Facebook experience a whole lot better? Aside from deleting it? <laughs> Just go in and find the setting to add. I think you can add up to, it's either 50 to 100 of your friends. If you have over 100 friends, add them as favorites. And they'll get a little star next to their name. And every time you open the app, the top 100 or whatever comments in your feed will be the most important people that you absolutely care about. And once you scroll through and get to and start seeing names that you have no idea who they are, close the app. That's how it works. That's how it works for me. Because <laughs> I have a lot of people who follow my page who I have no idea who the crap they are. <laughs> anyway. Enough rambling. We've covered 20 minutes of ramble, ramble, ramble. Sorry about that. Thank you for indulging me. Um, let's get into today's app because it costs money. It does cost money. It cost $2.99. And if you don't get on it now, I'm not sure when it's going to go up, but it will go up to $99.99. .99. Because it's Audio Kit Pro and their special limited edition apps that they've been releasing. This is number five, LE5, and it's called Digitalism. That's really hard to say first thing in the morning. Digitalism. Digitalism 2000. It's got a very uh, music 2000 from PlayStation ring to it. So it's super cheap. Now, if you're a fan of Audio uh, Kit Pro's uh, synth stuff, they make really fantastic stuff. Here's the deal. Um, some of the favorite ones still aren't AUV3 um, compatible. This one is. So that's really cool. Uh, this app uses, um, a, as it says, Digitalism 2000 synth sounds, retro sounds from around the 2000s recreated and sampled for your sexual delight. No. No, what the fuck was that? Let's just open this app and get this shit done, folks. What is going on today? Ah, oh, please don't bleed, please don't bleed. All right, let's do this. Where are we? Full screen. iPad. Here it is. Look, it's sexy. It's it's got a nice look to it. It's a little bit boring. Oh, 
it's a little bit boring and i don't mind that you know not too fancy not too confusing all the knobs are really big and you know there's some small knobs and there's some big knobs so any whatever size knob you like to touch there's one for you in this um <laughs> Okay, so here's the welcome screen. Let's have a look around at what's um, on here before we touch any of the keys. So we've got a little main button here. I, I don't know what that means because it's already clicked. More, look at this. More gives us more options. So it gives us a little bit more options. <laughs> awesome, so you've got a phaser there. Um, you've got a detune here. So these are so basically how this works is you can have two sounds running in here at the same time to create magic. Yeah. Uh, so let's go back to the main screen. You got your volumes, reverb, you got a limiter in there. Uh, pretty basic stuff. There's really not much to, to show. Uh, you've got this little, the set of dice here, which uh, most people, if you know, is a randomizer. So that's pretty cool. You have a little save button here, so you can save any presets that you make straight away. You can save it nice and easy. This little piggy went to market, this little button here, this is a MIDI learn button. So if you have a um, external MIDI controller plugged in, you can choose any of these and then twiddle the knob on your physical uh, knob machine and that'll match that knob to your knob machine's knob. Yeah, so that's there. And you've got an about thing. Not much else. I like it. Nice and simple, keeps things easy to do for a show. Let me go back to main. Down here, you've got settings. Again, really simple. You've got some uh, MIDI outs there. So you've got an Omni and all your 16 channels MIDI out. Uh, you can turn off always on do not sleep your background audio always put that on it'll drain my battery but i don't care because i've got a big battery because apple make them big and long and they last forever yeah and um yeah so you got a buffer size there as well all pretty simple stuff um you can attach some bluetooth stuff if you want so it's pretty cool i don't want to do that right now uh your keys you can how cool is this don't like white keys? Go black keys. White keys, black keys. White keys, black keys. White keys, black keys. White keys, black keys. I'm going to go with white keys. Um, you've got your octave range here. So you can change the range of your keys. Look at that. Fancy. Big keys for people with uh, just one one gigantic finger. Right? Um, <laughs> what? uh yeah I'm, I'm always cheeky rick i'm trying to i'm trying to keep the mood light because my morning's been quite dark but yeah um so you can add key labels that's really cool i like that kind of stuff so no labels you can add your octaves or you can put look down the bottom you can put all the letters of the keyboards down the bottom so that's not enough uh, synth apps do that Give you that uh, little simple thing which makes life a lot easier for people like me who are dum-dums on keyboards so you've also got your velocity settings this is really cool so you've got your um and it gives you two a bunch of settings here so velocity settings for your actual physical keyboard and for your on-screen keyboard good times yeah not enough apps to do that too. Thanks, Audio Kit, for doing that. You've got your wheels. You can uh, change your wheels from a tremolo to a vibrato. You can do all that stuff. You can change the uh, the length the of your bounds for your woo for your knobs here on the side. And you've got a hold button for when it's late at night and. And you're scared and you're watching a horror movie and you just need somebody to hold you you just click that and you're all good cool and you got a panic button so when the world feels like it's closing in and everything's against you you just click the panic button and there you go everything's better you just let the ipad know that you're shitting yourself 
and we're all good. And right over at the end, we have an octave. So you can flick through your octaves. So they go down to each side. Good stuff. All right, so I've talked enough about where everything is. We found our way around. Um, see you later, Rob. Have a great evening, I think, where you are. <coughs> All right, let's jump in. So what's the initial sound that's uh, on here? Well, that was pretty fancy. I'm used to like opening up an app and just getting a sine wave. So that's pretty cool. And you know what the beautiful thing is? So with this um, app, they have painstakingly added over 1,000 samples from all these uh, uh, 2,000 uh, uh, old synth sounds. And they've painstakingly put them, put them all in here. So there's over 60 presets it's just incredible uh for three bucks 60 presets in here here is the screen you can look at here so you just click up the top and you have all your banks so you have an all button alphabetical order you've got favorites if you start saving them zero bank uh, uh bank a and you'll see when i go to all you can see they've got a z little zero at the front of them and then you've got these ones down here that have a one and a two. So these are, one is your presets, two is an audio dabbler. Hey, Matthew, welcome aboard. But let's go through some of these sounds because there's plenty in here. And I'm just going to go through as many as I can to give you a, as much of a listen as possible.
turn down my mic for a bit. Lost sound there for a minute. Let me bring that back. Typical move my iPad and lose sound. Come back to me. There we go. There's some really beautiful sounds in here. Absolutely. So some really nice, nice strings there. Beautiful bouncy stuff.
I really like this app. I've had it for under a week. And, you know, as soon as I opened it, I just thought, wow, there's, there's not many sounds. Like, I'm not really big on the real short, stabby stuff. But uh, all these organ sounds, all these... I think I saw Tom right that I'm, um, or somebody I saw right. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up with the chat just because I'm not really a good <laughs> keys player, but um, and I'm do using my touch screen instead of my actual um, my external MIDI control. So um, I'm trying to concentrate, <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of spacey sounds here. Definitely a lot of really spacey stuff in here, like this for sure. Just makes me think of a, um, I don't know, a 90s PC space um, RPG, like a point and click adventure. <laughs> All of these are like that. So there are some good bass sounds in here as well. Vibrato bassoon. Hey orchestra, how are you going? Sky's watcher, how do you do to you too? Arrestricon. That needs an effect. Arrestricon. So we're up to like 45 sounds. If you have a look through here, we've got, there's a lot in here. So we'll get through, we've got time today. Cause um, yeah, I'm just enjoying going through all these sounds. Um, so at least normally you don't go through the entire sound list, but today I think we will. So we've got 20 minutes to do so. And you'll see exactly everything you're getting for your $2.99. <laughs> So on that price too, and how these apps work, I'm pretty sure this is the way they release them. They release them for two ninety nine, and so a hundred plus more sounds coming on the next update. Says Matthew. Wow, man, that is just absolutely mind blowing. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is how it works. So they, this is two ninety nine now. Then they go up to, then it goes away for ninety nine ninety nine. And then normally when they come back down again, if they do on sale, they're about three ninety nine. So that's 
pretty much how it's uh, worked for the rest of the uh, the LEs audio kit pro but you know the thing is now this is probably the cheapest you're gonna get it oops skipped one Wow, how's the feedback on that one? Um, what's that? Is the I was just saw a question here from Deep Gravity question is the number after the note referred to the octave? You mean here? So sorry, I don't have my mouse happening. Here's it where we uh, change the octave here up, up there. Sir Thomas Gallane, Sir Thomas Gallane. Uh, no, Joey, I did not. I did not make you buy two apps in a row. You decided to purchase <laughs> two apps. <laughs> two apps is what you decided to purchase. Um, Matthew, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> yes, it uh, it definitely needs to be AUV three. So if you're listening and not seeing the chat, um, synth one definitely needs to become AUV three. I mean, this works beautifully as well. So let's remember where we're up to here. So just remember you can open this. This is an AUV three can open up in things like garage band Q basis. You can open it up inside of AUM anything you damn well like that it accepts AUV three. So really fantastic stuff to freshen up your sounding yeah. garage band. I know a lot of people who follow the show use garage band. I did bury lead. I do have a copy to give away oh, for this app today. And I have a copy from Patreons as well. So one over there, one over here. And um, you, you can uh, grab a copy of this just by doing the usual thing. So just leave a comment, like, subscribe. In a couple of days time, we'll announce the winner live on a show. There's a lot of sounds on here that actually remind me of like a David Lynch film or something. You guys know how much I love my David Lynch. So you can create a new bank at any time as well over here. Um, so in your, uh, in your user bank, you can create a new bank. You can save a sound. You've got a randomizer. So remember up to 58 here. But if you hit your randomizer, you'll see. Which is nice. And over here, you can pick sounds. So let's just go into here as well. So in the more section up above here, you've got these two little areas where you can choose different sounds and combine them to make up 
different kind of things, yeah? So, I am definitely going to do something on Zen Beats at some stage. It's just getting around to all these apps. So, let's just pick a couple of random sounds here. So... So don't be limit feel limited to uh, just using all the presets. So you've got all of these wonderful sounds in here. Let's just again choose some random stuff. So a throat lead. Let's choose a whirl. Some slow strings instead. Change the panning of each sound. We've got a phaser up here as well to play around with. You can change your filter envelope all along this side as well. So there's plenty of stuff you can do and make your own sounds too. Hello, Russ. Hello, hello, Russ. I'm, I'm sure, I thought I said hello to you at the start of the show. That's my brain most mornings, there you go. So there's a sound for my brain. Lots of nice string sounds in here. Oh man, this one's nice. is a very sexy app if it was a person i'd f it Very sweet for the price. Uh, Matthew says, making the app sound sweet. Sweet, baby. Oh man, how nice is that? Beautiful, beautiful sounds. So just going back to like, you know, people complaining about apps not being free. As a musician of 35 years plus, back when I was a kid, to try and create a sound like this, 
to be able to just like load something up and just go, all right, I'm going to click this random number 88 and go, holy shit. You would give anything. You would give anything for this. You know what I mean? Um, and, and all as you can see, all the work is taken out of it for you. For three bucks, you just choose a random number and... Go for the Tinker Bells. Yeah, exactly, uh, Matthew. I don't think you were here for the start of the show. I kind of went on a rant. Pete Johns went on a rant on his show today about the whole free thing. And, you know, uh, since I've been doing this show, I, you know, I can't make this show without you developers. I can't do this show without the people here every day. If it wasn't for the developers, there would be no how to app on iOS. The iOS developers undersell their apps by so much. It is just ridiculous. It is just... Yeah, it is... Uh, uh, I don't know what else to say. It, it pisses me off that I see people like crying that things aren't free all the time. Um, I'm lucky I'm in this position that, you know, developers like you uh, give me apps to try out and give away. And look... <laughs> Just, yeah, it's just beautiful, beautiful sounds. Gets me excited. And I'm a hardcore death metal head, folks. And these sounds get me so... Oh, man. Wow, that was nice. There's only one free app you need to download, and that's called More Cowbell. <laughs> Not even for the cowbell effect, just for that one, just for the effect of what's his name from, uh, who goes, you gotta have more cowbell, <laughs> just for that effect, because every time you open it, that's what you get. <laughs> Uh, so 99 this is the end but as we found out today there are more sounds coming so if you make the investment please do support the developers if you are interested in this app there are going to be more updates with more sounds all this kind of stuff audio kit look after their uh apps quite well so that's it in a nutshell today I'm gonna... yeah. all right i'm gonna close it down look it's still going and i've closed the app all right and just I gotta have more cowbell <laughs> you see that's, I gotta it's the only app worth getting for cowbell. free <laughs> definitely the only app oh damn alright whatever cool so I think let me check gotta have more cowbell so thank you to um, Audio Kit Pro for sending me this copy I've got a copy to give away remember so we'll give that away in a couple of days leave a comment subscribe like do all that fancy stuff um, tomorrow I'm not sure what uh, tomorrow we're doing a health and well-being show yes because it's that time of the week we're going to look at emotions and music tomorrow so we're going to talk about emotions um, how, how to you know harness emotions uh, with all the stuff going on in the world with all the pandemics all the crazy presidents all this crazy stuff going on in the world how to contain that stuff and push it out in positive ways like creativity that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow so that should be fun and we've got a few cool other apps to look at this week and all that jazz and at the end of the week we've got an interview with doug woods from the sound test room so stay tuned because we've got plenty of good stuff happening on the channel this week we got doug on the show man it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait oh man i'm so pumped to have doug on the show and I'm, i hope you all are too because i had to pay him a lot of money <laughs> no i didn't i'm lying there <laughs> don't believe me 
All right, so Joey Helpish is up next with his How to Song. No problem. Thank you, Matthew, for your killer apps. Thank you for, for supplying me as usual. And uh, Joey Helpish is up next, so go over to his channel and check out. There's the link to his How to Song series, and I'll do all the usual stuff now, so you can join. Oops, oh, I keep doing it in the wrong place, man. Here we go. So now you know. Join our Facebook page. Join the website. And you can join my Patreon. There's all the links all in one place. Did the Patreon one work? Yeah, there we go. Cool. It'll come up in a second, I think so. Maybe not. Um, so thanks very much, guys. Take care. Have a really good one. Look after yourselves and all that jazz. Keep making music. I'm going to be working on some death metal stuff today for the Metal Shack. And um, we shall be back tomorrow to talk about health and wealth and well-being and emotions and all that jazz. But right now, it's the music that's calling. i got to go. I didn't get a blood nose. Yes, we got through it. I'm going to turn on my fan. Yeah, got the fan on now. Listen to that shit, man. Ah! Listen to that, man. Ah! It's killing me.